not the best start today. I just dropped my water bottle and it's gone a few hundred meters down there. It's absolutely roasting. I'm sweating buckets, so I start to get dehydrated very quickly. But I'm gonna give it a go anyway, see how far I get. Because whatever happens, I'm turning around to come back down the same way anyway, so I either turn around now or I keep going a little bit more and turn around higher up, so might as well give it a go. I can eat the old handful of snow just to stave off the dehydration a little bit. But yeah, let's have to see how far I get. First challenge of the day, crossing the Bergstrand. I'm on my own as well, so I have to be extra careful. Looks like I might be able to get across over there. It's hard to tell how big the gap is really. If not, I can definitely get across way off to the right over there. Just be ashamed to have to traverse all the way that way, then come back again. As for skiing on the way down, definitely passes skiers left. Don't think I'll be jumping straight down here somehow, especially not in these snow conditions. Even though the gap was small on the far left, the snow was far too soft to be able to step across on it. So I'm having to traverse all the way down to there. Hopefully, I should be able to just step over down there and traverse back again. Bit of a pain in the ass, but better safe than sorry. This is a dangerous bit now. The Bergstrand pinches out somewhere along here. It's impossible to know where. So it's definitely still going to be a hole underneath me here somewhere. Just going to have to give it a go and pray. That's it. I made it across the Bergstrand. So I'm committed to put my skis on somewhere at least now because the safest and easiest way back down is by ski. Had to dig an almighty trench to get here. So anyone who comes up here after me, you're very welcome. It's taken me forever just to get this far. So probably not gonna get anywhere near the top, but at least get part way up. So I need to have some of a decent ski. Boy, is it hot. Looking forward to being in the shade of the cool water now. Finally made it into the cool water proper. Very thankful to be in the shade now. Just need to decide if I stick to the powder or chance climbing the nice fern snow and the runnel and the constant spring drift and crap coming down. The problem with this line is, although the cool is in the shade now, it bends round towards the to face south at the top, so the top's now getting the full full blast of the sun. So as you can probably see, pretty much constant debris coming down the cool now. I decided to turn around here, just below the mixed or ice step. I'm probably about 60% of the way up of the bit that the people usually ski, maybe halfway up, full cool wire in total. Like nobody skis the very top. Yeah. This section here is almost certainly not skiable right now, and there's no guarantee I'll find an anchor. I can't bother to be doing the faff of digging for anchors or down climbing or whatever, so might as well turn around here. Still tons of Good steep, steep skiing to be done below here. At least 400 meters or so of vertical to get down to the Bergstrand, I think. So yeah, this is as good a place as any to do my transition, get my skis on, and head down there.
and my water bottle. I've been dying for a drink for about three hours. <sighs> Well, that was an adventure. It wasn't quite the hero powder I was hoping for, but then it faces east. I knew it wouldn't be. It gets the morning sun and it's, the morning sun is strong. So skier's left side was thick ice, basically a sun crust. It was unskiable. Skier's right was quite nice. Got a few turns in down there, but it's also quite rocky on the right. So glad you had to stick to the middle and just be really tight in your turns. There's a Quite a long nice section just before the narrows it was really skiable got lots of turns in but then the narrow section itself was basically impossible to turn because as i say skiers left was sheet ice tiny bit of powder skiers at skiers right but the middle is just a slough runnel it's completely scoured so there's just no margin for error and i'm not good enough to be turning on a sixpence i thought about maybe jumping the bergstrand about halfway along but Given the sun crust, it would not have been pleasant, so opted to ski all the way across and basically follow my tracks. Yeah. The, final, the final snow open though is beautiful. And now, get to enjoy the classic Valley Blanche and hopefully in time for the gondola back up to Montenburg. And then beer, lots of beer. Yeah.